Another small feature I want to cover that we've added to our version 4 of our portal <clears throat> is support for the uh, password reset application in ServiceNow. So right now I don't have it activated so you don't see any options in here to do a password reset. Um, so basically what we have is you'll have an option in your portal settings that says show password reset options within portal. If you turn that on, as I will here, now that property alone isn't going to necessarily do it all unless unless you have the password reset application already activated. Um, I personally do, so this was a, a plugin you would activate the password reset app, um, and once you've got that plus the property turned on, what will happen is if I go and refresh this page, under my I want to menu I now see re reset lost password in my list. Right, when I click on that, it pops up a window, kind of gives me my verification. And this is because I've already set up my enrollment information. If I hadn't, then it would show me the enrollment uh, kind of form first to, to fill in my different uh, enrollment cap capabilities, and then I then get presented with the password reset. So let me just show you kind of where that code is so you understand the different pieces. Um, but I guess before I go there, let me also just highlight this is <clears throat> presented a little differently uh, in our kind of now theme that has kind of a mega menu, which I'll cover the menu menu in, a, in another video as well. But you'll see under the I want to list, that's another menu option here. Same result in terms of either showing the enrollment form for me to activate password reset, or in this case, the password reset form uh, to actually do my verify and then reset my password. So let's take a look at uh, kind of where this lives. So if I go to the menus and I specifically look at um, the menu that has the I want to list on it. All right, so this was a list of kind of sub menu items which one of those submenu items has a function call to password reset exists. Now again, what this is kind of doing in this function call is it's looking at both the presence of the password reset application, but also that property being set to true. So this is going to show and hide this option based off of it. And the part I want to highlight too that's interesting is there's the URL is PWD reset. So it's not a service portal page. It's really not a URL. Um, it's not a legacy UI page, but it's really just kind of a code, a PWD reset code. And um, let me explain kind of how that's interacted here. So if I go to the, in the menu itself, there's a menu widget that kind of renders the menu object. And in the menu widget record, if you look at the server code, first of all, you'll see some code here related to, am I enrolled into the password reset application, which looks at some of the enrollment definition tables and whether or not I've set up my security information for enrollment, um, whether I've put challenge questions, etc. So this is going to return back a true or false. If it's false, then my URL is going to send me to uh, that password enrollment form. Otherwise, my URL um, is going to be this password reset uh, connection. Now, if we were trying to right now, let's set this to connect to uh, kind of service now as the password reset local or source. If you want an active directory, this would have to be adjusted to match what's the system that the password reset is going against. Now, the next part of this is you'll, if you look in the client scripts and I search for that kind of code that I mentioned, you'll see a process menu click. So this is the, the action or the, the method that's called whenever I click one of those buttons. And one of the things in here that's looking at, we've got two kind of codes, one related to chat and one related to password reset. Uh, so if the, if the destination URL is chat, then it's going to launch the chat pop-up. If it's password reset, it's going to launch the password reset pop-up, which looks like this, which takes that URL that we defined in the server script, pops up a window and displays that. So that's kind of the, uh, you know, basically the, the gist of how that kind of function works. And basically the same functionality exists the, in, the, in, the, in the mega menu, there was a, an option for password reset. If you were to look in this code, you would see a lot of the same duplicate code in here in terms of the password reset URL, whether it's enrolled, as well as keying off of if the URL you're connecting to is password reset. If so, then call this function that pops up that location. So that's uh, you know basically the support we've added. Um, you know, kind of toggle either enroll and or do the password reset. Uh, being able to handle that if it if it, if it is activated and you have turned this flag on, then we do show this as an option, uh, kind of through the portal. Thank you.